All right, it is Monday, April 8th. There's our new little island there. If you guys watched that video. It's so funny because somebody made some ignorant comment about the uh, the pots and pans hanging back there and they were like, it's somebody's idea of decorating. <laughs> so anyways, everybody's getting ready for this stupid eclipse and I don't know, we're not really all that interested in it. We do have a couple pairs of glasses here, but the farthest we're going to see it is like outside. I mean, if we can see it good, if we can't, it's no big deal. So what I'm more interested in today is getting some things done around the house. I'm gonna go outside and air out the, uh, the RV. It's a nice day today. It's supposed to rain a little bit, but I wanna go out there, open up the RV, um, put the slides out, open the windows, kind of air it out in there, and then maybe get a little bit of work done outside. I know I have to clean the garage, and there's a lot of work to be done around the yard, but I think the safest thing for me to do today, since there is a threat of a little bit of rain, is just to clean out the garage. Oh, Marion's got our coffee going here, but I don't think I'm going to have any this morning. I just want to get started on stuff. She's in the bathroom right now. Do you want to say good morning? <laughs> it's funny because as I walk around this house, there's so much stuff that I see that needs to be done. Like for one thing, I put this together last night. I had to get a new vacuum for downstairs because the old one wasn't working. I have this generator here that I just got from Amazon. I want to get that charged up and try it out. And then I have a couple of these, I may have shown you these before. Um, dash cams that I bought for our cars. They're called Van True, and I watch a lot of these videos of crazy crashes on the highway, and um, so I figured it'd be a good idea to get a couple of these dash cams just in case one of these idiots run into us and we have proof for the insurance. All right, let's go out here and get this thing started up and opened up and aired out. By the way, this shirt that I'm wearing, look at this, it has paint on it. This is like one of those shirts that I put on when I'm just gonna work around the house, which is funny because you guys get to see on this channel, just like the normal life of Nate and Marion, <laughs> where we're just doing normal things around the house like normal people. Oh my gosh, guys, last year, right as we were preparing to go for three months on the road to film Spirit Halloween, I was out here getting the RV ready and I fell down those steps. Oh my gosh, I was even wearing these flip-flops and the thing is that when I stepped down, my foot slipped to the side like this and I came barreling down those steps right there. I could have broken my ankle and that would have been a wrap on Spirit Halloween 2023. No, I honestly probably would have grabbed some crutches and hired a cameraman. Wow, it's funny guys, stepping into here, because just the smell in here is different from inside the house. Even though it's only been a couple of months, it takes me straight back to being on the road and traveling. And that's a great feeling, man. The thing that actually made me want to come out here and air this out today is that I had a dream last night that I sold this RV to my son, and then he sold it to my cousin who lived right next door. And my cousin does not live right next door. But in the dream, I was so beside myself because my daughter had just said, are you gonna sell the RV? As if she was interested in buying it. And I said, no, we'll never get rid of that thing. And then in the next breath, I sold it to my son, and then my son sold it to my cousin. How crazy. All right, let's see if this thing will spark up. Oh, all right. We got power. Let's pull this back and we'll get the slides out. All right, there we go. That beeping goes on as long as the engine is on and the jacks are down. Get some of these windows open. Bedroom slide out. Unfortunately, I can't open this window 
or that one back here because I need to repair them first. I have the parts, but there's like a little gear in here that I gotta figure out how to access and replace that. And then you use this and just kind of twist it to open the window. All right, let's see if the generator will spark up by any chance. Prime it here for a second. Wait for our little light to turn on. Come on, come on now. No light so far. Although I don't have the auxiliary batteries on yet. All right, let's try that again. It's not gonna surprise me. Okay, we got a light at least. Hold that down for a second. Here we go, moment of truth. Uh, it's blinking. So basically, yeah, you can see how it's blinking there. That's a code that means that the generator needs some attention. And that's unfortunate, but it doesn't surprise me. Turn that off for now since we got it all opened up. But yeah, it doesn't surprise me because we've been having problems with the generator. And I'm gonna have to have it uh, serviced, and I may even have to buy a new one before we go on the road. Um, well, again, at all. And that's gonna be like five grand if I have to buy a new one. That's the thing that sucks about an RV. Like, I love having an RV. I love traveling. I love boondocking and camping and everything. But it costs a lot of money. A lot of people think they're gonna move into an RV and save tons and tons of money. We have spent more money having an RV and traveling on gas and everything else than we ever do just living in a house. Oh my gosh, this is funny right here, guys. This little thing that we keep up here just to toss stuff in. This is such a representation of everywhere we go. Look at this. We've got spirit bracelets here. we got the Blockbuster glasses from Bend, Oregon. We've got receipts in here from Sam's Town in Las Vegas. That is too funny. That really makes me miss being on the road and traveling but anyways that's going to wrap it up for the moment here i got everything open all the windows open we're just going to let this sit here and air out i could spend the entire day in here cleaning and stuff but i'm not going to do that i have other things to do so stay tuned and you're going to see all this stuff guys but for now we're just going to let this place air out and um we will revisit it again very shortly